Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Precious and 10 months ago, I started my very own direct to film printing business from home. I pretty much turned my spare bedroom into my very own printing office and here we are. I'm a wife, I have four boys and I work a full-time job every day, all from home. I've just been documenting my journey of all of the chaos and starting a brand new business if you are new here i would not want you to start here please go back and watch all of my videos because this one is a part two to my last video when my printer broke down as you can see she's back today is what february 25th sunday february 25th and i've been having this printer issue since january 4th ish so it's definitely been almost two months since i've been able to use my direct to film printer i want to talk about what i learned from this experience i want to give you guys some encouragement some advice on what to do um, if you've run into the same situation or how to handle the situation so definitely go back and catch up um because i'm just picking up where i left off in the last video i just got some good news today and i just wanted to tap in the babies are finally asleep so i figured i'll sneak up here and give you guys an update so i received a phone call from Kodesi and i found out what was going on with my printer or what is going on with my printer right the tech support manager called me to give me the information from Kodesi. Um, he's actually out in Tampa. I'm in Texas. So what needs to be replaced is some 24 volt. He said that there was like a break in the harness. So that pretty much caused the abnormal ink stack error. They have to send over a part or a new 24 volt, whatever part, um, in order to fix my printer. With that, they won't just send it back to me or have me come pick it up. They're going to run, you know, test and prints and run some transfers through it which i don't mind because that sounds like my heads are going to be aligned and all that good stuff i'm happy for that um and i want to make sure like a few ink flows go through the print head so i don't know i'm not frustrated um not anymore i feel like too much time has passed um i've learned a lot from this i know things happen with machinery and again i'm just happy that not happy and then I'm just relieved that this happened earlier in business than later because I don't know how I would have reacted or felt had it been later down the line maybe I would have handled it better I did ask him was there anything that I could have done to prevent this error or this from happening and he was like no it was just a man-made part and it could have happened regardless it could happen to anybody so I am happy that I've been documenting this journey because if someone else goes past this error you'll know exactly what to look for or what to let the technician know or at least some type of guidance and you know that it is not the ink stack motor. I'm just happy to know that there is a solution and my money doesn't go down the drain and I'm excited to get my printer back. So he basically said that I'll hear from him next week, like beginning of next week, which would be, I dropped my printer off last week on Friday afternoon and today is Tuesday that he's calling me with an update. So I pretty much was like, I'm guessing you guys have to ship the part here to Texas and then he has to put the part on and they have to run tests. So am I looking at hearing from you like next week? And he was like, yeah, so maybe beginning of next week. So I'm not gonna be a pest. I'm just gonna be patient. So at this point I have a backup plan. So I'm not super stressed. Yes, I'm wasting a lot of money, um, but it is what it is. Everything will work out. I just rather get my printer back in my home and working properly so I can get back into business. I've been doing a lot of research and stuff on the back end and I'm excited for that. But I'll pick you guys up when I find out that my printer is ready and we'll go pick her up. What is today? I've lost count. I'm sure you have too. Today is February 24th, Saturday. And I am just now pulling up at... There's a technician calling me called Essie to pick up my printer so I'm coming around the back yes baby hi hey just trying to figure out how far are you um, if you come outside and look around the corner here I am all right then just come around the back all right sounds good all right. Bye. all right so the technician is here waiting on me and you see he just called me so here we are picking up my printer it's been a long time coming. I brought my babies with me on this long hour and a half. It was like an hour and five minute journey. I took some express lanes and all of that. They've been watching some movies in the back. So they've been occupied, taking naps, and now they're up. So this is going to be a long ride home. And I'm going to have to go get some gas, which I hate getting. That's my husband's job. But I'll, 
I was in a rush to get here and I didn't have any time to waste. Wait for the technician to come out to put my printer in my trunk. And I am going to go home and get my printer set up. I'm like, it's a bittersweet feeling because I've gone through so much with this printer and this process. And again, it's February 24th, 3.30 in the afternoon. Um, and this all started on January 4th. And I just felt like this year was my year, y'all. And it's been so, so stressful um, so far, but it's okay. Everything's gonna work out. Again, I just want everybody to remember I'm sharing my, I'm sharing my experience with direct-to-film printing with a printer I purchased from Coldesi, my own money. And when I get home, I'm going to definitely share with you guys um, just how I'm feeling, my mindset, um, moving forward and all of that. Just waiting for him to come outside. I'll check you guys in a minute. I even have a customer coming up here to meet me because um, he lived close to over here and he was trying to come to my side and meet me. So I'm like, I'm coming to Fort Worth. Hi. Where are you? So, Hi, how are you? Oh, rocking and rolling. This is my baby. <laughs> is this really mine? <laughs> yeah. Hold on, I'm recording this real quick. I've been printing. I have a whole bunch of stuff that I printed. Thank but you so much. it's printing really well, really good colors. Look guys. So good. You know what's crazy though? Yeah. You would have been. Why? Hold on, let me stop this. this All right. I like this printer. Yeah. yeah. That one in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. normally use that for my testers and stuff anyway. All right, that looks normal. We'll take it. I was gonna send another job, but if you're good, I'm good. Hey, I mean, can I see it print in action? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, anything, just to start at least. No, I never have this line. On you should, you should always have, yeah. uh, I turn it on, it's okay. I turn it on the software so it saves into the machine. Okay. You should always have it, even though you lose about half an inch in there. So I want you to think about it this way. Um, so whenever, let's just say you're printing black, uh -huh. or let's take blue for it. Okay. Let's just say you're printing a blue job. Uh -huh. So it's only firing blue. Okay. Right? And the only two things that are firing are going to be blue and white, with that blue and white. Okay. So essentially, your print is moving left to right, left to right, left right. to right. And all the other channels are just exposed to the air. Got it. They start you, drying up. I have a customer that's meeting me that lives out here too, so I have to meet you. Toasted. Wow, how could that happen again then? Yeah. No, I don't know how this happened. Uh -huh. um, Let me see it. Wow, and it's connected to the motherboard, he said. Uh, to the board up here. Oh, wow. So it's, it's that, see that black cable there? Yeah. So this is your 42 and 24 volt cable that goes right. into the, so it goes, it goes all the way from there to here uh -huh. and into that power board and into the motherboard. Got it. And it just, there was nothing. You well, could something do. specific rubbing against it? You don't know. Weird. All I know is that I can't get 24 volts to come off. Yeah. If you have any idea how many, how much pieces I tried, I see you did that because I couldn't even. I was just like, well, that was not the problem. But I yeah, I know. In there. Okay, good. It wouldn't initialize. It wouldn't go up and down. So they yeah. send you that. You're like, okay, try that. Try this. Try, trust when me. When I opened this up, I was like, wait a minute. There's another one. That's that right. Was too. That was the original one. Like, wait a minute. There's another one. Yeah. <laughs> What's going to happen in here? They had me try it myself, and it was just a mess. And then I even changed this film strip myself. Did you have to do it again? No. Oh, I did good. Okay. No, I. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, had to position the sensor properly. Yeah. Um, but no, it, it, essentially, the gremlin was that cable. Wow. Uh, it wouldn't let it come up. That's it, so it wild. All the 24 volts. Got it. Okay. I'm, I'm trust you now. I'm good. I see the white going on top of the colorful ink, and I'm happy. I I left my printer at the warehouse in Coldesi for a technician to come and work on it. That was whew, about two and a half weeks ago. My printer was just fixed this past weekend, Friday, Saturday, um, and I picked it up on Saturday, which was yesterday. Today is Sunday. Um, so it's been a very long time since I've had my printer. I even sat here and joked like, do I even know how to use the software anymore? Like. Yeah, it was a very long time, a very difficult time um, to be without my printer. And I just wanna say this, I don't even know where to start in this video, so I just feel like I'm going to go ahead and I started pulling up an order that I have to print because of course I'm like so behind on orders. I pulled up an order that I have to print here in a second and then I'm just gonna continuously add orders throughout this video and start my printer, like get it set up and everything. So that's the goal. And then while I'm doing that, I'm just gonna fill you guys in on everything that's been going on. And we'll just see how it goes. We'll just go from there. It all started from an abnormal ink stack error. Um, and I really just wanna tell like this story and the situation 
kind of to help like the new people out, the people that are following me because they're interested in starting a direct to film printing business or you have a t-shirt business and you're wanting to take your t-shirt business to the next level. Um, I just want to just give you the real of direct to film printing and specifically with my printer and the company that I decided to purchase my printer from. When I purchased my printer, I didn't do a lot of research on the company or anything like that. I just said, hey, this is the printer I want. Um, I can see that they are in the US. I wanted to have a, I wanted to make sure I had a company that I could go to if I needed technical support to give me like guidance on using the printer. That was very important. Um, just that was my main goal so that stopped me from getting the printer from overseas so my husband's calling me hold on all right so my husband called me so i had to stop there he's going to pick up all of our like groceries and all that stuff sunday getting ready for monday per usual um so i'm just over here at my printer i guess i'll give y'all a view of the printer as well um, just cutting tape and getting my printer set up and ready to go from my memory because like I said it's been a long time um so I'm just getting everything ready getting my tape cut off and all that so I can take down my paper and all that jazz from what I remember so yes it's definitely been a long long time coming and I want to say this before I even start this is my this is my personal experience and during this time I'm just gonna say I've I felt myself go back like experience some <clears throat> like even experience some depression um some frustration um frustration even with myself and i just hate you know how i handled it emotionally like with my mental it definitely took a really really big toll on me um my home i share with my family i work from home i have my husband here and all of that so my family definitely had to suffer in my silence in my change you know because and I'm uh, okay this happened and it's a machine right we know things happen but how it was resolved was probably the worst experience for me and I think the connection between me sharing so much like about this printer freely neely because y'all know when I started this business or I started um my channel it was specifically just you know to inspire other people to start a business like you know me or if you're inspired to start a business period from home or if you have a t-shirt business or you wanted to learn about direct to film printing i just went out on a limb and i just went out and jumped and decided to get a printer and start it so i feel like i kind of lost focus on what my reasoning of this channel was and i started getting straight into printing because so many people were interested in this printer um so in me explaining the printer i just got I don't know just some kind of connection some wires got crossed with the printer also and getting my printer from Codesi a lot of people also were like hey girl like what you what you get for the printer or you know do you have a contact with Codesi and this 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 like oh my god I know they're happy to have you and all this stuff and of course at that point I'm thinking to myself like happy to have me this, this company hasn't even reached out to me you know about this printer so I'm like I have been all over social media I have referred so many customers i have had a whole lot of customers reach out to me saying hey i purchased this printer from you i purchased this printer just because i saw your video or you inspired me to start and oh my god who's your contact and i've been giving my sales lady the whole time all of the credit like reach out to her reach out re reach out reach out in my knowledge that's the only way that you could get like referral credits and all of that so after you know a good four months passed and I haven't heard anything, I reached out to her like, "Hey, girl," and I feel like I mentioned this in a, another video. So tell me if I did. Oh well. Um, but I'm a Libra and I'm a storyteller, right? <laughs> so um, I just want to give you background, even if you you know if you are new here. So I reached out to her like, "Hey, um, girl, I'm just checking in. I've got so many customers that reached out and said that they." You know did this i recorded a video on youtube it was my original video back in april like when i started my dtf printing she's like oh my god precious i was so happy to hear i'm so happy to hear from you i've been meaning to call you okay uh, meaning to call me right but you guys just been getting sales and sales and sales off of me but not even a call to say hey here's your referral credit or this somebody reached out you didn't find the time okay so that's fine whatever um they didn't have a she said just do you have any screenshots she had me send her screenshots of every customer 
that or every person that I referred. I'm like, it's so many people on social media. Like, you want me to ask them for their first and last name and their email? I did it anyway. Um, to people that was like, hey, I went through all of my like emails and all of my messages and reached out to people like, hey, I know it sounds weird, but go ahead and send me your information, you know, so I can definitely get credit for um, referring you, blah, 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 so I can send it over to Kodesi, you know? Um, a lot of people did, a lot of people did. So I did all of the legwork and I sent the information over to my sales lady. I sent um, everything over to my sales lady and she was just like, oh, thank you, I'll go through it and I'll see who actually purchased and this, this, that, and the other. I haven't heard anything back 10 months later, right? Okay, fast forward now, nothing. So in that conversation, I also discussed with her like, um, like my content, like I'm posting content, I'm talking about you guys, this, 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 that, and the other, like what's going on? Like what's going on with that? You know, as far as I'm pretty much being the spokesperson for Kodesi and you're telling me that these people are referring, um, like these people are calling saying they saw my video, this, that, and the other, but like what's in it for me? Nobody's said anything to me, like even like an affiliate link or a coupon code, something I can give back even to people that's getting the printers so we can use for supplies and stuff because the supplies are expensive. Um, yeah, I didn't get that. I ended up getting like a $250 credit applied to my account, you know, just like, thank you, precious, blah, 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 um, I guess. So that was that. I just left it alone. That was months ago. Um, I'm sure I used the credit like on ink or something like that. Uh, I didn't hear anything else after that. That was pretty much it. I guess I don't have to take this off since it's kind of long. Well, I'll pull from that in and then I'm gonna come around. But she was like, oh, Precious, I definitely wanna reach out to my marketing team um, so that they can call you and you guys can have a conversation about like the coupon code and all of that. I had, didn't hear it from anybody, so I just kept, kept reaching out, kept reaching out, because at the end of the day, I would like a coupon code myself, and I have been really, really nice and sharing the company's name and all of that stuff. I'm not gonna go through like the whole thing, because I'm not here to bash a company or anything like that, because honestly, they don't owe me anything, right? I purchased a equipment from them, and that's it. They were just, the only thing that they were supposed to do is give me tech support, right? Um, so I just wanna kind of stay on that subject, and I feel myself drifting away. Um, but I'm gonna let me take my emotion out of it. But there is a lot of emotion, but I have my printer, y'all know that. Um, days started turning into more days and longer days and weeks. Um, and then the technician isn't here and then the technician has to fly here. And it was just a lot, um, a lot of frustration, a lot of like hair pulling, a lot of ignoring me, a lot of calling me um, 450, like right before they close, just those kind of things. Um, really, really yucky. Um, I kind of explained my experience and it's like I had to explain my experience to everybody I talked to, every conversation when I checked in. Um, that kind of sucked. I lost a lot of money by outsourcing my transfers, you know, getting them printed elsewhere because I didn't stop. Um, I kept my business going, but it still just wasn't the same because uh, of course losing a lot of money that's fine because i was able to help out another small business i'm sure um i had the option of having my transfers printed through codesi or there's something things, certain things that they won't print and it's just it was a lot nothing was done for my inconvenience with being without my printer for two months nothing was given to me no credits no nothing it wasn't even offered um every time i had an issue it was me calling every time i asked to speak to a supervisor it was me calling um but yeah that was probably the biggest slap in the face honestly these printers are only like what 6k you can get them overseas but you, you're really paying for the warranty you're really paying for the service and y'all seen the service i was getting and there's so many parts of that last video i'm gonna say that i cut out because it was just a lot of me in tears. And I just hate that I saw myself like that over a company, over something I did not have any control over. Because I wanna say it was over a printer, but it's bigger than that. This is my business. This is soon to be my livelihood. This is breaking generations. This is to show my kids like the business mindset. This is just to turn a whole nother leaf in my life, you know? So it's definitely more than that. I want you guys to understand Starting a printing business with one printer is a very dangerous game. I did learn that. You wanna make sure you have at least a backup plan, like another printer. Um, if you can't get another printer, you wanna make sure you have someone close by that can print transfers for you. I would say in the same city, someone you trust, because 
you're either going to have them send them you are you're either going to have them send transfers over to you or to your customer so you want to make sure that they're perfect i'm a perfectionist so that was a whole nother hassle for me, you know, but I had to give trust to someone else. I did get another printer, so we'll talk about that later. Um, so therefore, I do have a backup option. I do have a backup plan, and I'm going to go ahead and learn that printer probably within the next couple of days so I can have another printer going, which will help me be more efficient as well. I do want to ask, though, I had to get to the other side of that printer, but I do want to ask if you have purchase this same direct to film printer from Caldesi um, after watching one of my videos if I encouraged you to purchase this printer or I referred you I want you to please send me an email um, or leave me a comment that's fine you can send me a message in my DMs on Instagram or TikTok I don't care send me um, ain't she precious prints on Instagram and ain't she precious on TikTok I'll leave those below send me an email with your first and last name and your email um, or if you signed up with your business name with Codesi, please send me that information I definitely want to make sure that um, I get what I deserve through this whole process I was advised by Codesi. I only referred four people to them and I definitely want to look into that further and send that information over to them so I can get exactly what I'm owed. So it is what it is at this point. My um, advice to you guys, if you are interested in getting a direct to film printer or if you want to start a business similar to mine, please, please, please do your research. Um, that's probably like the biggest lesson I learned from this. Um, do your research. I was just so excited. My husband said, go get it, get it. So I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get this. I found this company that supports you. I Customer service is definitely key to me. And I feel like it may be I'm stressing customer service on a company. So yeah, I just wanna move forward. I was shocked. I still knew how to use my software. Um, I'm so sad that I allowed this situation to depress me so much. My mental health wasn't the best. My kids got to see sides of me I don't like for them to see. It wasn't the same me. My energy wasn't the same. I didn't feel happy. For nothing to be done for the time missed is definitely frustrating. For not receiving an apology for the time missed is definitely frustrating. My kids, when they saw that I got my printer, they're like, oh my God, mommy, you got your printer back, you know? Oh my God, I'm so happy, mommy, are you happy? My son even said it today, my little three-year-old. Um, mommy, you had your printer back and I just, that reminds me that I wasn't being my best, you know? I wasn't my best, I wasn't me um, through this, but I'm just gonna keep reminding myself that I love myself and I just have to shift my focus um, and I'm gonna continue to be great and my business is going to continue to flourish. I do have a whole lot of orders that I need to get into play. I did give out some coupon codes and such. Um, a lot of my orders were late. I hate that for me. That was like the worst experience. Everything happens for a reason. This happened for a reason. To get, I would have never considered getting another direct-to-film printer this early. But if you are new, like don't get discouraged. Definitely get your direct-to-film printing. Um, definitely get your direct-to-film printer. It's fun. It's easy money once you learn the um, printing software and you really have to learn this printer inside out and I feel like I'm getting better at it and I didn't even show y'all what the issue was right oh my god I can't believe that so come to find out it was never the ink stack it was never the motor it was never the film strip everything that I've replaced right um, and that's probably another part of it the fact that nothing was done and you guys had me try all of these things take time away from my family to do these things and yes there's only one way to find out but the fact that no one wanted to FaceTime with me to look at my work after I changed every single part and I'm just keep emphasizing hey nobody's checking my work and to come to find out it was a cord a wire that connects the main board to the power strip or something like that um that was causing the issue that was burnt out I can show you guys it so there's this cable like you see this whole printer top part blah 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 look ink coming from my printer i'm so happy <laughs> so bittersweet so this cord right here there's a little cable there i don't know if you can see it good this cable right here and it shoots all the way through here all the way down something i don't know um but it was burnt i don't know but it was burnt out like 
someone chewed on it like it was just rubbing back and forth like something wore on it that um, the cords were exposed and that needed to be changed um another thing oh it's just so many things guys and I'm just trying not to be like keep my feelings out of it but it's been so freaking frustrating this past two months like so bad and then when I went and picked my printer up in a couple days before when they were finally getting the technician to fly down here and um back in town to help me they were like we went ahead and changed your print heads we went ahead and changed this we did this 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 like you had the printer sitting there what do you expect like when it was here with me I was still pulling inks and stuff as if my printer was working because I knew like from research and watching the training videos that that could happen so um, we changed out your um, print lines. We changed out your white ink thing. And this happened at like, and so what, and what do you expect? You should have to. What about my inconvenience? That's the least you should do. You had it sitting there that time. You couldn't run your test prints until you actually changed them. You couldn't check your work until you changed the print heads because I'm sure they were clogged. So it is what it is. It's total frustration. Everybody that leaves me these comments, I see them all and I appreciate you guys. You guys, again, this is my personal experience, my feelings. This is what happened to me um, without all of the extra but I don't want to you know deter you from shopping with this company it's totally completely up to you this is my experience um and I just I started this channel being honest and transparent I hope my video will help you make your decision um yeah as you can see I cannot talk and work at the same time but I'm gonna go ahead and get this printer ready I'm gonna get these prints going and I'm gonna show you guys that it does work the hardest part was definitely how I let this affect my mental health. Um, so again, I want y'all to see that this printing business, it ain't for the weak, <laughs> especially if you are not very tech savvy, definitely take full precaution um, before you decide to invest in a big old printer like this. Just make sure that you do your research, just do your research. That's the main thing. All right, so my camera died, y'all, so I don't even know where I left off. I already started printing. Um, I fixed all my inks and all of the issue that I, all of the issues that I was having, currently printing. Everything's going good so far. I'll show y'all. I'm getting my paper straight, like how I need it, but colors are looking beautiful, finally. Um, how pretty is that? Super excited about this. I didn't notice that my white ink wasn't really flowing on this side right here. And I don't know why. I just keep like pinching it and moving around and shaking it. But um, I don't know. It's like it's trying, but I guess eventually it'll make its way through. I'm a little worried about that. But yeah, I don't really feel like talking to anybody right now about anything. So I'm hoping it'll just pick up on its own. I have my shaker going and I'm gonna go ahead and connect my holes and all of that. I feel like I forgot how to do everything. I'm going to continue filming my journey, not per se like printing, 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 but more of my business journey like I wanted to do from the beginning. So all of my entrepreneur supporters can continue flourishing and doing your thing because you better. Don't let my experience deter you because I'm not letting my experience deter me. But moving forward, I'm going to be filming content, like business content, period. My life, I'm juggling life with it all. I'm supposed to make a decision next week if I'm going to continue my job, um, my nine to five corporate job. I'm going to start decorating my office. I have a little pink chair so far and a white desk. I have a white table coming in and I'm going to build a shipping table as well. So I'm gonna document that journey. Things are going up. I'm feeling a whole lot better. And I hate that this situation had to happen, but I'm also blessed and glad that it happened because I am I feel like there's nothing I'm not prepared for. What I regret, I regret not doing a lot of admin work while I was sitting. Um, <laughs> but I was, of course, always sending orders to a couple different people to print my orders for me. And then, of course, Coldessi was printing them for me. I'm a perfectionist and I want my stuff done perfectly my way. So that's where we are. I'm over here giving my customers extra shit like I always do. <laughs> um, because why not? I hope she enjoys her trip in Disney. Please leave me a message. Leave me questions. Send me some comfort. Um, I have a whole lot of work to do, I know. Um, 
But yeah, thank you guys so much for your encouragement. Thank you, OMG, how did I forget? Thank you so much. Ah! Your girl is at 1K on her subscribers yes i'm super super close to getting monetized so if you are new here and you are just catching up now i'm sorry i don't want to traumatize you about starting a business please go back and watch all of my other videos but i have new equipment coming soon so i'm going to be documenting that as well but thank you guys so much i'm so happy like i love these messages about how i'm inspiring people and i hope even after this video i'm still inspiring you shit happens um it happened to me so it doesn't have to happen to you take it as a blessing um yeah i'm so excited i'm getting ready to go to my cousin's baby shower in march i'm excited for that to get out of the house but i want to make sure i have all of my ducks in a row before then because it's the beginning of march um yeah i'm good i'm gonna go ahead and continue printing these orders and i'll catch up with you guys thank you so much for following my journey thank you so much if you haven't subscribed please subscribe um, this isn't my normal personality. Normally, I'm a little bit more bubbly. Y'all know that. <laughs> a tad, right? Um, but thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for the love. Thank you so much. Please like this video. Maybe like 500 watch hours I need. So go back and watch all of my videos if you haven't to, you know, get me there, please. Um, if you love me, you will. <laughs> Don't let my BS deter you at all. Um, I even felt like I even went back to my kids and apologized for like how I've been feeling. But I also love that in this, they're able to see the ups and downs of business and also see their mom feel feelings because I let my kids feel their feelings and I try my best to comfort them through them and help them. Um, and I think that's important. So many life lessons through this, so many life lessons, so much business growth, so much ooh, new, exciting things coming. Um, just beautiful things in personal life and in business life. I'm just so happy and i'm so blessed to be here i'm blessed that i'm happy that i stood strong and i'm i'm happy that i let my voice be heard um i'm sad with how i was treated um it really was like ah oh, damn a bummer a little feelings hurt you know but it is what it is feelings come and go we all know don't forget if you purchase this printer after me dm me send me an email dm me on tiktok or instagram please 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 thank you so much for watching i'm gonna get back to work i'm back today Alexa, what's today's date? March 14th. Um, and I wanted to do a quick video because I've been sitting on the part two of my last video. And I figure I'll go ahead and come up here and do a quick closing. I don't even know where that video left off. I picked up my printer and I was explaining everything that went on. But I wanted to add to that video related to that same issue and everything that happened my printer is still giving me a run for my money so since the last video and getting my printer set up maybe about two or three days later i noticed that my ink like the colors weren't right asking customers like hey this color is off um can you send me another design of this 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 and after maybe about the second customer i'm like hmm something something ain't right i started comparing some designs that customers sent me with what was printing and sure as shit it was an issue with my printer so that was a mess i just set up my kids with snacks and cars so um i figure i have a little second to go ahead and do a quick unboxing and update so that way i can go ahead and upload this video um up until today so i'm not going to start a new video because this issue is a continuation of the bigger abnormal ink stack starter issue right in a part of that last video i was telling you guys about that white ink line that ink portion was missing so i figured my colors were a little off because of that i think i figured it was just going to start working on its own but when i noticed the color issue um and comparing designs i in comparing designs, I called Kodesi and I was explaining what was going on. I spoke with the technician. I showed him like the pictures and he was like, it looks like there's something going on with the yellow. All right, my kids came in, so I had to go put them out really quick. Okay, so the best thing that has happened since all of this, Kodesi actually sent a the same technician that I met up with um, at the warehouse. He actually came out to my house. He inspected my printer and everything. 
and found out that there was an issue with my yellow ink. And I'll just show you guys what it looks like. These are like some Juneteenth designs. If you notice, the color is like more of a teal, right? Um, the yellow is more of like a mustard when it was bright yellow and actual true green. Um, so I noticed that. And then also another one, I was doing a bunch of like melanin brown designs and they were coming out purple. So I'm like, something isn't right. So after he came out and it's another one and oh, I've printed so many transfers. Um, another, look how thick that is, okay. Another design I did was this one and the snake should be, the snake, it should be brown and it was coming out purple. Made so much sense. Look at all that wasted ink. And this was one of the jobs that I had like 50 of and I just said, okay, I'm gonna hit print and I'm gonna go live my life and come back and check it, you know, because I had that powder holder and all that, right? Came back and 25 to 30 transfers later, purple. And I'm like, maybe I ran out of ink. Switched the bag. I didn't run out of ink, but I still switched them all just to give like a full flow. Um, then one or two transfers will come out the correct color. Like that brown here is what it should be. It'll come out brown and then it'll, it'll start flowing to purple. I'm like, is my paper too tight? Like what's going on? Come to find out there was an issue like as far as after he came over, he was here for a couple of hours. I will say that was the best treatment I've ever gotten from Caldesi. Um, them sending a technician out, you know, finally after everything that I've gone through um, and all of the issues, it was just like, <sighs> finally I'm being heard. Um, and that's what kind of what I wanted and expected. And that's kind of what I expected from the beginning um, was that kind of treatment because again, it's my business and my business suffered some from it, but not too much because I'm me and I'm always gonna come out on top. <laughs> he found out within the damper, like there's a little white piece on the end of the damper that sticks into the hose, it was bent. So it wasn't getting the full flow. So he did some work and fixed it. But when he fixed it, um, and here's another one, you see, this should be a true green, right? A true green, but it's like um, teal. This should be gray and it's like purple. So that, that's the kind of colors that was coming out, just like weird. So that yellow issue, he fixed that and it was fine again for a couple of days um, <laughs> and a couple of transfers later. Went out of town for a baby shower and I came back and I looked at the printer again and I noticed something um, and that was that yellow line. I'll show you real quick. I noticed that on the yellow line, it had this little piece in the middle. You see that little separation? So I'm like, something is going on where, you know, these channels are all flowing fine and this one is flowing a whole lot slower because of that piece. It has to be, right? Like, there's no other way. Colors come out so good for the first transfer or two and then the yellow starts to slow out. Um, so. He was like, oh, let's go ahead and lift your yellow bag up to see if that helps. It gets me through maybe three transfers, but that's it. So the technician will be coming out again on Monday to replace those ink lines all together. Um, basically, I was like, can he just not swap out the line? Apparently they're all connected, all of the ink channels. So not an option, no bueno. Again, I cannot talk and work at the same time, but I just wanted to do a quick little unboxing because I feel like in all of my videos, I do some kind of unboxing, right? So I had a bunch of packages when I got back in town and I figure out I'll open them now. And honestly, I don't even remember ordering some of this stuff. So I know a few of them is from TikTok shop, you know, for like reviews, which I love. I'm being noticed and recognized. I love that. Um, so this is one of those selfie stick tripods with the lights on it. I need this like so bad. I don't have to like carry around my ring light and bring it upstairs and downstairs. All of that, all of that drama. Um, so I love that and I can bring it with me. It looks like it retracts so it gets smaller. Super cute. Need that, love that. Have three minutes left. <laughs> um, these are some lashes. I have to do a review on that. Check me out on TikTok. I will probably do it over there. What is this? I don't know. But other than that, I'm good. I'm in better spirits. Like at this point, it is what it is. Caldesi is um, shipping my stuff, some air tags <laughs> for Apple. 
have some more paper from Amazon. I also got this tray for underneath my powder shaker and Velcro. The technician, he gave me a whole lot of good like feedback, ideas, things that I can do in here, better lighting, like so good. He's a really, really good technician, I'll say that. Super sweet, super kind. Um, but I did get some Velcro and I'm gonna attach it underneath my um, shaker that therefore it can catch the powder because even with that tray, it still falls like on the the poles that are underneath, you know, whatever. So I always keep this silver tray like down here, but um, when I like move this back and forth, when I move this to put powder up there, it always falls like on the floor, either in the front or in the back, either in the front or in the back. So he recommended that I get like a tray and put it under um, with Velcro and it'll just stay there and I can just move it and it's longer. Oh, that's how that's going to work. So I'm gonna do that. Um, he recommended I get a humidifier and not a dehumidifier. Um, so I'm gonna, do that and I have like the little gauge to check that as well. Um, two minutes left. What's this? Aww. Mun Bun reached out to me and sent me um, a label printer. I have like Mun Bun everything at this point, but I'm gonna do a separate review on this also. Yeah, super cute. Thank you, Mundan. Once the technician comes back out and he go and he replaces the um, the tubing, I think everything should be good, you know? Because at this point it should be like a brand new printer since I have like new print heads and all that good stuff, right? Just ready for this printer to get back to how it used to work. I love, 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 I still love my printer. Um, and I plan to use it for years to come, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go and I'll pick you up in my next video. Bye. And check out my shirt. Shameless plug. Pull out your camera. <laughs>